guys, it is me Jasmine and for today's video I have a book review for Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. This is a young adult contemporary book that came out yesterday, September 1st. I would highly recommend it. I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The book about self-discovery, it has romance in it and it's something that I think is so well done and just so put together and I just loved it. I actually have a spoilery part which I filmed three months ago in which I first received the book and I just had all these feels from it so I just filmed it and kind of my initial reaction after I actually read the book. So before we get on to the spoilery part we're going to talk more non-spoilery. Like I mentioned this is a young adult contemporary in which our main protagonist named Madeline suffers with the severe combined immunodeficiency disease well known as SCID or the bubbles disease. If you don't know what SCID means or skid it is a disease in which a person's immune system actually won't work so outside toxins or outside elements could actually affect their body negatively they can get a certain virus or a certain bacteria in their system and it could cause a very negative effect in which they could die or they could be very very sick to near death so Maddie can't really go outside since that she does have this disease so she is inside in her house at all times she has her mom and she has her certain worker but she's pretty much lonely and that's kind of all I knew was the fact that this female protagonist had this infamous disease. I absolutely love Nicola Yoon's writing. I thought it was so unique and so creative. I love the different elements that she put in with the drawings and it just made the story more personable and I almost felt that Madeline was a real person and I absolutely just loved it. I think she did such an amazing job with Madeline's character in which for me personally I was expecting her to be a little shell-shocked but Madeline was a very strong character and I loved that about her. I love the romance element. I think if you're into contemporary romance this is definitely one for you. Like I mentioned it is definitely self-discovery and romance are the two main points of this story. So if you've not read the book this is where I would recommend you leave and then come back after to watch watch three month younger me discussing this book because I find it hilarious just because I am so quiet and I have no makeup on, I'm exhausted and I am just feeling all the feels because of this book. So let's get on to that. Oh my god. I might cry right now. This was a fantastic book. Oh my god. I think I might cry right now. Oh god. I'm not crying because I found it sad. It was just absolutely uplifting and so different from a lot of other contemporaries I read just because majority of contemporaries I read whether it has romance in it or regardless you don't really see a lot of the main characters almost reviving themselves and I think Madeline is so incredibly wise and she was probably one of my favorite protagonists I've ever read through their perspective because I did not get annoyed by her and I thought that she was honestly such a lovely lovely character. I want to obviously talk about an essential part of this novel which was Maddie's disease or disease I should say. I think Nicola Yoon did such an impeccable job you know I could definitely tell that she looked into it. Obviously you have to I think prior to doing a novel like this. I personally know a little bit of information on it just because I previously took an anatomy class this year and we did discuss this. Every case is different. Every person with a disease is different. It is very rare. It is deadly. So I think that honestly at the beginning Oh, the whole part of the book I was believing it you know because I did not expect that her mom was making it up like uh, when I found that out I'm not kidding you my heart stopped I was like are you kidding me I did not feel hate towards the mom but I I was just in such a shock I did not expect that to happen it was very nice how we kind of get to see the fact that her mom is going to get help from um, her husband and her son aka Maddie's brother and father um, death so I think that that's why she did it basically she didn't want to lose her daughter like she lost her husband and her son but the whole thing was just heartbreaking I sobbed I want to of course kind of talk about the romance because it's definitely a key part of this novel duh at first I'm not gonna lie when I say that I was kind of iffy on the romance. I really liked the friendship, but then all of a sudden I felt that 
we didn't get to see a lot of interactions but almost like it went from them talking to them all of a sudden she was in love with him and it now takes me to realize thinking of this the fact that both Ollie and Maddie are in awful situations, you know, Ollie with his father and everything that's happening with his family, you know, his father abusing his mom, you know, that's a very hard situation to be a part of. They're constantly moving and honestly struggling. Maddie, obviously, with her illness, you know, um, she felt isolated. She didn't really know the real world. She always had these kind of expectations or dreams but she never let herself have that hope but when they connected it was kind of like there was hope and I think that that was definitely a gravitational pull towards one another you know they saw that each other could give themselves a breath of fresh air and I think that's why I now understand their love and why it almost was so quick. So that was my book review for Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Definitely let me know what you thought of this book down below in the comments and if you agreed with what I said and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my god.